Thanks for joining today. Today, we're going to learn some more math with Lego blocks. We're going to learn the next activity in subtraction, subtraction activity number two. Remember first thing, pause the screen and explore with your blocks in any way you like for five minutes and then turn it back on. Okay, exploration time is over and time for us to start subtraction activity two. We want to look at subtraction as take away and compare. So we're gonna try again to do seven one dot blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now we have seven one dot blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We talked about you can do take away. Minus can be when you take things away. One, two, three, four, seven minus four. How many are left over? One, two, three. If someone takes some of your items away, then you can tell what is left over. When we compare, we're going to see what four, one, two, three, four, what is four compared with seven? Well, the only difference is this part here, right? One, two, three. The difference between seven and four is three. We want to make subtraction as easy as playing outside, as easy as talking with a friend. We want to make subtraction very easy. So let's try again. We did the comparison method, we're going to do subtraction. 7 minus 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, I'm going to take them away. 1, 2, 3, 4, 7 minus 4 was 3 that are left over. Let's try it again. And every time I do this, I learn a little something new. Let's try it from this end. One, two, three, four. Seven compared to four, the difference, what's different? This part here, right? One, two, three, that's the difference. Subtraction can be the difference or when you take things away. I hope you had fun trying this activity again doing it very slowly because we want subtraction. We want to really get it inside of us so we can really enjoy it. Thanks. We're going to color. You can put this on pause. We're going to color our work and write a little something about it. And we're going to mark our progress charts. Thanks. Put on pause. We'll be right back. Okay, we finished up drawing. So now let's see what we've done. Here's the way I drew it. You can draw it any way you like. My name's at the top, and then subtraction number two. I put my seven blocks down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this is where we're going to compare. We're gonna put four more blocks up, one, two, three, four. And we're comparing four to seven. What's different? The difference is three. Seven minus four is or equals three. And here I did a circling to do the takeaway part. I have seven blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
and I circled these to take them away. And what would be left over? One, two, three. Seven minus four equals or is three. We can look for the difference when we subtract. It's like this one. We can see what is left when some are taken away. That's this one. Two different ways to look at subtraction. Good job, everybody. I hope you can put your picture up on the refrigerator. And we marked our progress chart. Here we did subtraction number two. I left mine white this time. Subtraction number two. And if you downloaded the chart from the website, here you can see my name is at the top. And again, I left subtraction white. Subtraction number two is going to be white. So it doesn't look like I've colored it, even though I have. Good job, everybody. Thanks for joining everybody. We had a fun time you doing subtraction activity number two. Thank you very much. Please subscribe, please like, and we'll have to say right now, hang on one second. We've got some protection here. An umbrella. So now I can say goodbye. Love you all. See you next time. Look, it works.